Hi, me again. And today we're going to be having a look at a, a question that was posed to me yesterday by a student of mine. And he wants to create an Outlook message template. And within the template, it's linked to Excel data. And so as the Excel data changes, uh, when he creates a new message, the new message takes on whatever data is in that current Excel file. So let's have a look at the Excel file I've created to do this example. And I've just got some student data here, first name, surname, and an exam result. And I've also created a summary sheet where I can pick one of the student numbers and get their names and the score. So let's see how we turn this into an Outlook message template. I'm going to go to Outlook and say new mail. And I'm going to delete everything that's in there because that's a signature block which will automatically get added on when I put a new mail in anyway. And what I don't want to do is get two signature blocks. Um, I'm also going to put in a subject heading here. Exam result, if I could spell. And down here, I'm just going to paste in some of these elements from Excel. So I'm going to say first name. Well, I want that. So copy and back to my message. And rather than just pasting, I need to right click and I need to paste as a link and I'm going to merge the formatting. So now I'm going to type in some text. So here's your score. And back to this cell here, copy again. So control C. Back to the message and right click paste and merge. Now you'll notice that it's gone on the next line and that's because in my Excel message, sorry, in Excel I'm picking up an entire cell of data. So when that's translated into Word, which is the engine that drives the Outlook message, um, it goes on a new line rather than on its on the same line. And it's done the same here. So I can actually take out uh, the first line of my message but it's quite difficult because whenever I paste it in it goes with a, a new line in anyway. If I take out that first line now when it refreshes it'll put the new line back in again. Okay so this is my message, my basic message. Now what I want to do is I want to save this as a template. Now the way we do that is we say file save as and we change it to an Outlook template and I'm going to take a copy of this file path here because we'll come back to it in a minute. I'm going to give it the name exam result and it's picked that up from what I put in as the subject of this message. So I'm going to click save. I'm now going to close that message down and not save it. Okay, back to Excel. That was Marshall who got 62%. Let's choose someone else. So Ellen who got 59%. Now let's close this file down and save it. Let's if I take you through the long-winded process first of all, and then I'll show you a way of making this easy. Rather than saying new mail, we say new items, and we want more items, and then we want to choose a form. We don't want a form. We actually want to choose from user templates in the file system. I told you this is a long way of doing it. And then choose exam result, and then click open. Do I want to update the links? Yes. It's now creating my new message. You see it's put the signature block on the bottom and it's choosing Ellen and 59, which is the current data we stored. It has filled in the subject for me. What I can't do is paste in here as a link from the Excel file. That's a problem. You can do that directly using VBA, but you can't do it just using pasting a link. OK, let me show you the easy way of doing that. If I go to my file path and I simply paste in that link uh, to the file path that I'd chosen, I'm going to find my exam results, right click on it, and say send to desktop. And that's now created a shortcut on my desktop to that new message. So let's open up this Excel again. And what we'll do is we'll make some changes in this file again. Close and save the file. So rather than Ellen. Let's now go to Nyla, Control W, close and save. The Excel file is now closed. Double click there. It asks me if I want to update the links. Yes, I do. I'm going to create a new Outlook message, Nyla, 55%. 
Okay, in a nutshell, that is how to create um, an Outlook message template uh, with links in it to an Excel file to show some of the data from your current selection, your current saved version in certain cells of that Excel file. I hope that's been useful, and once more, thank you for listening.